Hello everyone, welcome to Pixelmon, but except all of, or most of the footage was filmed offline, but I just wanted to keep you updated on what I did. Well, you guys weren't with me. Um, I mainly decided to have a fenced-in area for both of our farms while I built them up. Um, no, I didn't feel like using the same type of wood. I felt like being complicated and not using the same type of wood, and I hope it annoys you. I'm just kidding, it annoys me too. I fix it eventually. Um, I don't think you can... You see the part where I fix it, but you don't. Then I end up sorting through most of my chests, trying to find stuff, plant more stuff. Forget you can't plant, plant sugar cane in the middle of nowhere. Um, and then I started just moving stuff around in our little, little house. Um, so I started moving it around. I didn't really know what to do with the house. I did know I wanted to put all the revival stuff for the Pokemon really, really close to our little Healy, Healy Bealy machine Um, and I wanted to have a little shelf with, like, a little area for chests. And I did end up moving all the torches down one one or two blocks just so it's even on all sides and it's a little bit more brighter down to our level. And I didn't like where we put them. And I was going to replace them with lanterns till I remember. This is version 1.12.2 or 5. So, um, I can't. Unless I add more mods, which I'm currently working on the full mod pack for our actually long series on it and then I start digging out the area where we're gonna put our aper aper the Capricorns um cuz I forget what they're called um and I struggled a little bit I forget that the path blocks exist so sometimes you know I just throw in that little extra spadoosh you know and then I farm these ones, and I'm going to line them up, hopefully getting them all the right color lines this time, because I seem to mess that up a lot, getting, you know, pink and green mixed up. And next, I go find a couple trees to choppity chop so I can, you know, finish the fence, but I had to choose the fairest wood possible to make half of it, because I am annoying, and sometimes my ideas aren't good. I can label all of our plants, realizing I can have it there soon. Or soon I realize, yeah, I realize it, um, because our plant will grow into it, or it just won't grow because of the sign there. So I continue to do that for all of our little two lines right now. And I continue on grabbing more wood and stuff so I can make more fences to encase our little farms in and keep the other Pokemon out. Even though it really doesn't do that good of a job when the Pokemon can spawn inside of the fence. Which we find out that can happen really really soon. I'm mealing our Capricorns and then I continue expanding our little Capricorn farm. Is it Apricorn or Cap Capricorn? Either way, we're just going to keep bringing those up and adding them to our lines. I mean, kind of one of our first actual battles, but I'm just going to let that play for you guys.
I lost. Uh, that was very expected for the entire point of, I'm not good at the game. Well, I very, very fastly got distracted by grass seeds because they are very, very important. Um, you know, and as as a as a very distractible person, I kept doing that until I got distracted by something else, which was a giant floating pony in the distance. I'm pretty sure it was a pony to raid. Looking back on it, but I was very confused because I did all my research after playing. Um, I tried to run into it to see if I could fight it. It didn't work. You have to left click on it. But then I just decided I didn't care and started doing my own thing again, which was planting trees because I need the hardest type of wood to find. Because why not? And then we went to sleep. And we started working on the farm the next day. And then we woke up to this. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a legendary. I don't know. We replanted most of our sugar cane so it wouldn't be in the way and it covers the window. We put a little torch behind it so we could hide it later. Then we continued planting flowers because there is no place in the world without beauty that looks good. And flowers is the best way to do that. And then slowly but surely, we ended up making slabs for stairs, which looks nice, in my opinion. It doesn't really matter, and it's not very, you know, unify, but hey, oh well. And then I decided, hey, it'd probably be a good idea to have more than just one Pokemon. So we started figuring out how to make an anvil and Pokeballs and all of that fun stuff. Except I had the f for the fact that I had no idea what I was doing, but that's also still just as fun. And then I spend a bunch of time just farming offline for something that has literally nothing to show because it grew as fast as, a b as I needed it. Continuing on, I found a little cave. I really like this cave. I ran straight into it. No, just kept running and running and got in a fight. And very, very fast, I died. Again. So I ran away. Right out of the thing. I don't know what I was doing, but I made a little gap so I could look down there. Uh, just to get more scared. And run away. And then... I saw another rainbow thing in the distance while I ate my morning bread. For finally, finally, healing my one Pokemon. Boop. I mixed up the footage and I apparently lost a bunch and I got confused by it. So, um, all the new things, I have two more Pokemon, my Amper and a Shrinks. And I finished my gate, I put fences around it and made a Super Smelter. And added more flowers around my base. And we also have a floating tree in the sky that I have no idea how to get rid of. And it's making a huge problem with Pokemon spawning in the dark brought underneath of it. That's all I got for that. Um, so I just kind of ran around and lit it up more because it also annoys me when I can't see everything in the dark. Because I'm used to being scared of mobs that I can't see. And I decided to finally and go and tackle the the deep pit that killed Litten once and there was Pokemon in it that looked very strong so I ran away again because that's what I do best and then I fell in another hole and then ran away because there was rock Pokemon in it um then I tried to find a Magikarp and tame a Magikarp because I really wanted a magic heart. So, um, I went and got Pokeballs and I try and get a magic heart. I also have another portal now. I don't remember making it or having footage of making it, but I have one. I made it with a lava, the speed one or ray. Very poorly. Um, this is also what I mean by Pokemon still spawn in areas. And that was a very fast change. 
I need to start rewatching and fixing my videos before I record the audio. Am I going to? No. Um. So yeah, I. Um. So yeah, I caught Magikarp. I'm started adventuring because I only need four Pokemon to tackle the entirety of the world. Um. So I started heading north, east, north, east. Towards this tall mountain, which I'm pretty sure is a direction away from my house. I found a rose bush and I just kept going up and up and up to the top of the hill. And I'm almost there. And then I found another little hole, which I climbed on top of because it's just a wee little cave. That's the only important thing I found. I did find blue flowers and Aikens. And Wulu, which I decided to beat because I decided uh, winning Pokemon fights might be a good idea. I learned a new type of power, which is Fury Swipes. So I defeated Wulu. Continuing on to my next task, um, which was finding food. But instead, I fought a Marie. And won, surprisingly. And I fought another Marie and got food. So I fought an Electric and won and got Redstone, which you can't eat, apparently. And I found a cave, but it was dark and scary, so I ran away. Continuing down to the bottom of the hill where I found a tree, cut it down, and built a little home base because home is where the crafting table and the furnace are beside each other, but it was dark and I needed a home to stay in because I don't like when it's dark out. And I just go chop, 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 here's a tree. And it's all gone. I found that thing, which is a horse. I didn't know they hold horses. I'm just kidding, it's a Pokemon. And we put the crafting table with the furnace, so we have a little little home in the middle of the woods. With cooked food. The best. And I ended up making more torches to light up a little bit around me so I could see and try and win battles in the dark. I put a little push button on the furnace just because. Um, I started fighting an Ekans. I failed. Um, Litten fainted again because we're good with Pokemon like that. And Yamper defeated him for me, where I immediately got attacked by a Rattatat, which failed, and we won, which gave me cooked mutton. That's extremely weird, and I don't know why I did that. And I finally got the pumpkin that I came over here for. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I have a pumpkin now, and that's all that matters. And I started my little lawn mosey way home. And we just kept walking. And I thought I got lost immediately, and then I realized, wait, there's building number one out of two. So we just ran towards them, knowing that I probably wasn't lost. Because if I had been, I would have been very sad. I'm just kidding, I would have actually built a house instead of just stealing one. <laughs> just to, to go and sleep away the night and the monsters under the bed. But you gotta stop and pick the nice wildflowers because they are a nice color of purple and I wish they were in the base game so, so bad because they are so beautiful. And I made my way to bed, maybe for the final time. <laughs>